and my book, Playback of Polo, I begin by explaining three unique dimensions of the game that I believe have a very big influence on how you should play the game and how you should think about the game. First of all, the disparity of skills. No other sport uh, anywhere in the world puts people onto a field of such different abilities playing together, which makes it very difficult at both ends. It makes it very difficult for really good players to work with the, with the, well, with the beginners and, of course, incredibly difficult for the beginners to understand what the good players are doing. So there's a muddle in that sense before you start. And the, the second one is that it's the only ball game that has a right of way. And it's the very similar right of way as when you're driving. If you belong to the part of the world, you drive on the left of the road, as you have to be in polo. That's if you're driving in England, Ireland, Australia, and all, the, all those places. As we always say, the problem that the Americans have is they drive on the wrong <laughs> side of the road. So, um, and thirdly, the fact that any time in the game, one horse can go to another regardless of the ball and, and, and push them away from the game. Whereas in other sports, that is called as a foul. Therefore, learning enough skills to, be, to fit in on the ground with other players is very important. It is, big mistake of, of a beginner to go to the polo field and just thinking he, he, he can join in a game without having had lessons, without having practiced, without him. And um, too many people try to do that in polo and I think it's everybody suffers because of it.